In this step, we will be solving two-digit subtraction problems that require regrouping using both our base 10 blocks and the algorithm. Now you remember us using the algorithm when we were learning two-digit subtraction without regrouping. And that meant there was a bigger number on top and we just were able to just subtract the ones and then subtract the tens. And it's going to be a little bit different now. So when we need to borrow one of the tens and trade it in for 10 ones, that's called regrouping. We have to make a new group. And here, you see how this bottom number is bigger than the number on the top in the ones place? That means we don't have enough cookies to give our friends. So we're going to borrow from the tens place. So follow along with me. Here we have a trade box for when we need to regroup, okay? So we, we can't take these ones without trading in a 10 because that would be stealing and we don't wanna steal this boy's cookies, right? Okay, so let's take a look at our problem. We have three ones, but we have six friends down here that want a cookie and so we don't have enough. So what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna take one of the boxes of cookies. Remember, we're gonna take a tens rod. And we're gonna trade it in, okay? Before I take these 10 ones, I want you to realize what just happened over here, okay? We no longer have an eight in our tens place, do we? No, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cross out that eight, okay? You just drag that little cross out down there. We're gonna cross out the eight, and what do you think we change it to? Well, let's see how many we have left, okay? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens. So we're gonna change the eight to seven because we took one away, okay? Now let's come over here and we traded in our, our tens rod. So now we need to take all of our 10 ones and put it in our ones place. And you don't have to do this neatly. Just make sure you get all of your ones over into the ones place. Okay, there we go. 10 ones. Okay, well, we had three ones and then we added 10 more ones. So let's take a look over at the algorithm again. Here, there's three ones, but that's not how many we have anymore, is it? No, we had three plus 10 equals 13. So we need to update our algorithm to make sure that it reflects what, what we just did. So we're going to cross out the three and we're gonna change it to 13. Okay, now we definitely have enough to give our six friends a cookie. So now we can start solving the problem. Now we can subtract. Okay, so 13 minus six. Here we have 13, we're gonna give six away. There's one, two, three, four, five, six okay so how many ones do we have left we have one two three four five six seven and that's correct because 13 minus six is seven so we're going to put a seven in our ones place now we can solve the tens so we're going to do seven minus six okay here's seven we're gonna give each of these friends a box of cookies. Here's 10 cookies for you. Here's 10 cookies for you. Here's 10 cookies for you. 10 cookies for you. And 10 cookies for you. And 10 cookies for you. So that was 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. We gave them 60. So seven tens minus six tens means how many tens are left? Right, one 10. One ten is remaining. Seven minus six equals one. So 83 minus 66 equals 17. You did it, awesome job. All right, let's do another one together. Okay, here we have 61 cookies minus 48. Okay, so we're gonna start, start, start on the right, start in our ones place. We see we have one cookie. And so do we have enough for all of our friends down here? No, what are we gonna do? We're gonna borrow one of the 10. So let's take the 10, we're gonna trade it in. <gasps> let's not forget what to do on our algorithm over here. So we're gonna cross out the six because we just took one away. And what? how many do we have left now? 
multiple. Six minus one is five. So one, two, three, four, five. We have five tenths. Okay. And let's not forget to take all of our ones so we can feed our friends their cookies. And bring, drag them into our ones place here. All right. So this is ten ones plus the one one. How many do we have now? We don't have just one anymore, do we? So let's cross out that. And we're going to change it to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1 plus 10 is 11. Great. Now we definitely have enough cookies for our friends. So now we can start solving the problem. We have 11 cookies. We're going to give away 8. All right. So 1 for you, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Great. So how many cookies do we have left? Well, we have 3. 11 minus 8 is 3. Perfect. Now let's move to the tens place. All right. We have five boxes of cookies here, and we need to give each of our friends down here a box of cookies, and there's four of them. So let's drag it down there. One for you, one for you, one for you, and one for you. So how many boxes of cookies or how many tens do we have left? We have one ten left. Five minus four is one. So good job. 61 minus 48 equals 13. You did it. We did the first two cards together. There's only eight more to do and you're done for the day. Awesome job and keep up the good work.